I showered this morning and my hair air dried like this because it's so humid <laughs> and so it's all like frizzy so I'm like I don't know what to do with it. I mean I don't really have much to do honestly today. I have a podcast leader. I don't know if I'm doing that alone or with Jamie. It would have to be like online because she's sick right now and so anyway I'm gonna make the bed and then I need to go do a few other like little errand chores. Er, chores. <laughs> you just wake up and you want to go thrifting and so I think I want to go to like a Goodwill maybe one I don't go to that often okay why won't this zip I think this is what I want to wear today this is like what I wear when I want to wear pajamas but don't want to wear pajamas you know we actually just got new nightstands in our bedroom. I'll show you those in a second. And then I also got a new rug that I want to put together later or like put in here later and switch out. And so I, we just kind of like wanted to update this room a little bit. I, kind of some of these things are just for things that we've had. So I found like this really cool rug that I'm really excited about. I'm, I'm kind of nervous. I hope it like looks good in here. And then we also, like I said, got new nightstands. That, okay, that one right there is our old one. And then it just has like random pillows on it. You can kind of see this side better actually. I freaking love them. I found them on Amazon. You guys, they were like, $50 and I was looking for something with this like look to it you know like the beaded look what is that called like spindle kind of look so something about that color just kind of spoke to me and then together I think it looks cute I do want to switch out I think the picture there but also if you see this nice light and bright bedding it's actually by Brooklinen who's sponsoring this portion of the vlog so thank you Brooklinen for working with me on this we've slept on these the past few nights and I truly truly think they literally feel like luxurious like I'm at a luxury hotel that kind of vibe and it's at a way more affordable price point and if they just feel so nice like feel nice and thick and like kind of heavy which I love but they're super breathable which sometimes I struggle to find a balance of the two um but these feel so freaking nice we have ours in the luxe version which is great for people who tend to sleep cooler and then classic is great for hotter sleepers and linen is great for breathability all year round for anyone also I have a coupon code for you guys if you wanted to save $20 off of any order over $100 you can use my code here and then I'll also put it in the description all you have to do is tap the link in the description and then use my code and you'll get the money off um, but they really truly are worth it and if you get the bundle I think you save like a lot of money as well with like all the different things in it That's what we got we got the bundle with the duvet cover We got the top sheet sheet set and then four pillowcases you guys these pillowcases also I have to mention this there's this one specific detail about them notice you cannot see in them I've had tons of sheet sets at various price points literally all over the board and I've never had it to where every single pillowcase comes with that so I love that so anyway thank you again to Brooklyn for sponsoring this portion of the vlog um, I truly truly don't want to get out of bed now because these are so soft and um, it's rainy day and it's just like the, one of those days where you just don't want to do anything but I have to and I do want to do other things I would regret it if I didn't and so we're gonna have to figure out something <laughs> I just got in a couple packages from Poshmark and I was like, wait a second, I'm vlogging. I filmed a TikTok and then I was like, oh, I didn't even think about how that would make you guys feel forgotten. So anyway, um, I got a couple of things, three orders. I, I love Poshmark, love J. Crew so much. Um, and so I'm so here for the revival of everything. And so I picked up a couple of, these are I think more like more vintage J. Crew pieces, but this is cardigan. This is a cardigan. Yeah, button downs up the front. If you can see this, oh shit, salt all over it. <laughs> no, I don't know if you can see how like fuzzy this thing is and like the texture on it, but it's like a textured black cardigan, which I think is gonna be so cute with any kind of pants, like a baggier pant and some like, Birkenstock Boston's that's kind of fit. I mean, it's a sweater. It can go with anything, but you know what I mean? Like that's kind of how I have it in my mind. And then this just like plain gray sweater. Do you like it? It smells good, doesn't it? Um, but I like this. It's again, the same texture. I don't know what it is. It says, oh, that's why it's, um, it's a wool mix. So 40% wool, acrylic, alpaca, and then nylon and elastane. But feels really nice it's not like too wooly love those i got great deals on them and then i also picked up a pair of solomons because i was just looking for like a basic pair of sneakers that kind of looked like this to be honest like kind of like a hiking looking sneaker so i grabbed these i like the color too i got a great deal on these as well and also they don't have a um you don't have to like tie them i like them i just need to clean them up a little bit they're a little worn but that's 
Okay, and yeah, this is what the dining room looks like. I have to clean that stuff up here. But I don't think I showed you guys our new like little setup. I've showed you that already. So these we actually put up a couple days ago. They're prints actually from Etsy. We just ordered the prints for like $5 and then sent them to Walmart to pick up. Um, and then we just got frames from Target. And put something in here like this and I personally love them. Um, I thought it was perfect for the dining room, you know? Anyway, I need to chug this water because I've been so dehydrated and I have to record a podcast episode to a solo one, which I get so nervous about because I, I'm, I, I'm a talker. Like you guys know, I, I don't shut up, but sometimes when I'm podcasting and I'm doing it alone, well, I've only done it one other time and I get so nervous for some reason, a lot of pressure, but we'll have fun. We'll do it. Um, I also need to change over the laundry that just went off and then we will um be going i promise we're gonna thrift today but um yeah this is the yellow paint color you guys this is intense you know how i was talking about painting a yellow i know a lot of you guys were like muted yellow and i'm like no i want it really bright but this is like super bright i mean you guys can tell it's unofficially done yet and also all of the window like the bathroom window over there is off and then also the light it does not help so that's actually going off but anyway <laughs> Um, we also are like basically finished in this laundry room. So I'm going to have to, oh, I'm so, <laughs> I have to go through the laundry room footage because I, we've been doing this for way too long, you guys, it's like the laundry room project in general. And there's just so much footage. And, um, anyway, oh no, how did that happen? How does this happen? It has to be thrown away. This got washed. I check all the pockets, but this was in my shorts. I wore kayaking the other day. Why do I do that to myself? I understand. Anyway. It does look pretty in there though. And with this, whenever this is going to be like decorated, it's gonna look really good. Like I have the stool that I redid right over there and it's gonna look good. I promise you. It's so intense, but I kind of want it intense. Yeah. You know what's something I never understood until recently is like, I feel like liking Lana Del Rey, like Lana Del Rey's fans have always been like a very like, it's been a, like a religious experience for them to like love her. And similar to what I would say, like being a Swifty is to be honest. Um, and I never understood it for as long as Lana has been like a thing really. I wrote her off so quickly because I don't really like slow music that much. And recently, you guys, I have not, like, I don't know the word for it, converted, because I'm using it as, like, a religious experience because I, I genuinely kind of feel like that. I'm thinking about it lately, and as I've been, like, getting, I'm, like, I'm, like, a newbie in the Lana Del Rey fan club. Um, but, like, I love her, and I love her lyrics, and I, I do have TikTok to thank for that because I feel like without that, I wouldn't have realized, like, how good her lyrics are like that's one of the things I obviously love about Taylor Swift um is are her lyrics and so so happy it's kind of like it's like finding a new artist and you have like their whole discography to like explore it's such an exciting time what can I say but essentially that's what I was thinking I just been thinking about it if any of you are Lana Del Rey fans let me know what's you what you think I would like um because again I'm just like dabbling but yeah we're on the way to the thrift store we're going to a salvation army it's about i'm only 10 minutes away now there is no pain quite like forgetting your airpods or headphones at home while going into a salvation army goodwills usually like at least around me play decent music but the salvation army's around me do not so i rely on those headphones um <laughs> okay i made it in here i think this is cute i wouldn't probably wear it or have anywhere to wear it I don't think at least but it is super cute right maybe I, I don't know I actually might hold on to that but I did already find a few things also for some reason like this with all the pockets and the color how freaking cute is that I love it I literally am obsessed with it I just think it's so cute with the little frills all over this is what my cart looks like so far and I don't know, I got some skirts. I'm really looking for skirts, to be honest. Um, that's initially what I came here for. And then I still have that shirt. And then I also found these pants, which I'm not too sure about, to be honest, but I do think they're cute. Might to be a no, just because I don't know if I need them, but this is what it's looking like. This might be too small to medium, but I'm, it looks kind of big, so I'm gonna play around it. I might try to try it on. Number 15, 50, T-shirt and
We're back from the thrift store. Let me show you what I got really quick. Um, I just feel like I'm gonna run through really quick and then, you know. First off is this vase, which is very, very pretty. I just love it. These little, I think the lady said they're lilies. Like fake, obviously, um, but very pretty nonetheless. Probably take those out to use this for like fresh flowers and stuff. But then I have quite a bit of actually like different other things. And then this is like a little tablecloth that I think I want to put on the dining room table. I've been really like looking for them for in there and I was like, this is cute actually. And it kind of matches in there or I think it'll look cute in there at least. And just like this plaid, red and white. I feel like it's good for the end of summer, even into fall. Could work for Christmas too. Is this, I don't know, I just think it's so cute. I hope it fits. And for clothes, uh, look at this dress, you guys, this linen dress. It's 100% linen. Look at the sleeves on it. It's freaking gorgeous, seriously. The buttons down the front, I just think this is going to be so nice for the rest of summer. I mean, I wish I had this all of summer, um, but the rest of summer and most of what I actually got besides this are like pajama pants. <laughs> But um, this little like workout skirt, I've been wanting like workout shorts and um, different things like that. But I really like working out in workout skirts or like going on um, walks and stuff too in them. But also I feel like to style these with like boots, I've been really liking that. And so I liked that one. I didn't try any of the songs, so hopefully it all, <laughs> all works. Most of all the rest I think are all pajamas. These pajama pants pink and white striped, just because, I mean, I love thrifted pajamas. And then this shirt, look at this pajama top. How cute is that with the little, it's like pink and white twall, pretty sure. And this was like a set, again, that went together. That was $7.99. Oh my God, also happy National Cat Day. Franklin is celebrating by being nosy. Oh, there he goes onto the camera. Frank. Anyway, and then I also got these pants. They're just blue and like dark blue striping. I don't know. Um, and then these ones I really, really liked. I don't know, something about them. They're like this light blue pinstripe with white and like brown and just cutesy. Hopefully I'll get to go to the beach at least a couple more times before it gets too cold. And then the last things I got actually, so first off, look at this basket, you guys. How freaking cute is this? So I guess the lady at the checkout, she said it's a, yeah, a long Lana burger basket um hand woven in ohio and, and she was saying that people collect them and that they're like really sought after baskets and this one in particular i didn't know that when i was purchasing i just got it because i really liked the um handles on it i just think this is so cute for like a beach bag but also just like a bag in general i really like it but it was 32 dollars, and that is a lot for me just went on a basket so i was like i don't know but i was like you know what i never seen one like this before and you know what who knew it's a big old thing. I didn't know that. But and I also got this bag because this color, obviously, I love it. And I never find a bag like this in such good condition. I definitely have a bag like this, actually, from the thrift store, though. <laughs> One tie? Yeah, definitely. I think it's a pretty popular style. It might just be from Target. And some fake tulips because I thought these ones actually looked decent. For fake tulips, I mean, right? And lastly, I got these two little things. This I'm going to put, like, either sugar or salt in and I just thought it was adorable and then this I'm going to put some flowers in like fresh cut like hydrangeas or something I think would be super cute or like even a candle but I think I'm thinking like flowers I really liked the pattern that is my thrift haul this is how cash is celebrating national international national cat day whatever it is you know just sniffing the flowers his best life right cash huh okay phone footage for the end of the vlog. That's all I got today, you guys. I literally just watched Love Island. This is what I do on my like lazy days. I think I'm yelling, sorry. But anyway, that's what I do or what I did on my lazy day off um, for the week. And <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully it was like enjoyable to some degree, kind of boring, but, but I just felt like vlogging also today. I don't know, I just like talking to you guys. <laughs> So anyway, I was just finishing editing this video and then I'm going to watch some TV with Jared. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you guys so much. I hope you have the best week ever. Anyway, thank you so much to Brooklinen for sponsoring this video. Make sure you check them out down below and use my code Cup of Jordy for $20 off of any order over $100. And treat yourself to some nice luxurious bedding because it truly makes such a difference. And anyway, thank you guys so much again. I love you. Bye!